In this video, we're going to learn how to make scrambled eggs. So to start, we need to go ahead and scramble our eggs. So I'm gonna hold my egg and give it just a little crack on the side of the bowl. Crack it into my bowl. If I do get a piece of shell uh, in with my eggs, you'll be able to see it, a small piece. Use uh, the shell to remove it. It'll uh, work a little bit better than, say, using a fork. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and scramble my eggs, uh, but I need to add a little bit of liquid just to thin them. Uh, I'm gonna use water in this video. Uh, some people like to use milk uh, or cream. Uh, totally fine, uh, just different people have different Preferences, uh, and I'm gonna use water. I'm also gonna season my eggs now with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. If I was adding cheese to my scrambled eggs, I would use a little less salt. Cheese itself is salty. So if you're going to incorporate cheese in, you do wanna make sure uh, to lower the salt so that your, uh, your eggs are not too salty. And before I scramble my eggs, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna preheat my pan. I don't want my pan to get too hot and um, otherwise my eggs are gonna brown and I don't want brown eggs. Uh, but get, preheating it just before we're scrambling tends to be a good amount of time to preheat. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my fork, I'm gonna puncture each of the eggs and then using a circular motion, I'm gonna go ahead and beat my eggs. Now, I like to count to about 80, do about 80 circles. Um, we really wanna make sure that all of the, um, the yolks and the whites are, are combined well, but we don't wanna over mix. Uh, that can uh, have an adverse effect on the protein. Uh, and about 80 beats tends to be a nice, uh, a nice compromise and really get us a well emulsified uh, egg uh, while still having a nice tender product from not overworking the proteins. Okay, I think we're about there. All right. So I'm using clarified butter. Uh, I could use oil, uh, and really for this I could even use whole butter if I wanted to. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bigger pat of butter than I need into the pan. And I want enough butter that it kind of coats the bottom, but not so much that it's pulled. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of that butter out. You see, I have that nice amount of butter there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my eggs. I don't know if you heard that, but when I put them in, I got just the slightest sound of kind of sizzling in the pan. But they didn't start to immediately bubble. There was no smoke. There was no, nothing aggressive because I really don't want to brown my eggs. So using a rubber spatula, I'm going to push my eggs from the outside of the pan into the center. I'm just going to start making a little pile in the center. I'm going to let those eggs cook a little more and then continue to push them into the center. I want to make sure I scrape my sides down well, nothing's burning to the sides or to the bottom. Again, I really don't want any brown on my scrambled eggs. So my eggs are about three quarters of the way cooked and I'm just gonna kinda of keep pushing them around in the pan, forming them into a pile. Uh, if I was gonna add cheese, this is where I would add the cheese, I would add the cheese and then kinda of stir it in, fold it in like I'm doing here as I'm collecting my eggs. All right. And 
And like anything, eggs are gonna be subject to carryover cooking. So I'm always gonna remove my eggs uh, from the heat just before they're completely set. So these are scrambled just a little bit soft, uh, but in the 30 seconds between when I plate them and when uh, you know either I would sit down and eat them myself or a server would come and carry them to the table, uh, they're going to, to firm up and really be uh, cooked through. They're not gonna be soft eggs. If somebody had ordered soft scrambled eggs, I probably would have removed them from the pan 20 seconds before I did so that when they got to the customer, they would be soft scrambled. You can see now those eggs you know, have cooked, have even in the, these few seconds that we've been talking, have continued to cook and set, and I have those nice pieces of scrambled egg. All right, so let's review. When making scrambled eggs, start by cracking your eggs into a bowl, adding a little bit of liquid, either water or milk, and beating for about 80 times. Next, Add your eggs to the pan that's just preheated, not too hot that we get an initial brown color. Finally, use a rubber spatula to collect your forming scrambled eggs into the center of your pan and remove the eggs from the pan when they look soft scrambled. They'll continue to cook for a little bit and set more as you wait.